All right, gang. Um, I've got a quick one for you this morning because I'm really out of time. I never have time. I don't understand. But this one comes out of New York, and this is another reason why we film the police, why we record the police. I'm sorry. Some people don't like me to say film, and they say, we don't use film no more. We use digital. Okay, record. Digitally record. This is why we record the police on the street, because our videos could tell the truth. Our videos could say this is what really happened and not just what the cops said happened. But the NYPD has released a naughty list just occurred. I don't know if it occurred over the weekend or yesterday. Uh, the news story came out yesterday and the news story comes to us from the New York Post. Thank you, Craig McCarthy of the New York Post, who on October 7th at about 2.32 p.m. posted this story. The Bronx District Attorney's Office became the first in the city on Monday to publicly release a naughty list of NYPD members whose credibility could lead to criminal cases being tossed. The heavily redacted records obtained by the Post through a Freedom of Information request, or FOIA, names 75 current and former officers, sergeants, lieutenants who have given questionable testimony in criminal cases or have had evidence tossed for unconstitutional policing. At least three of the cops were red flagged for lying, including one NYPD captain, the records show. Dozens of other officers were included in the 11 pages of three separate adverse credibility lists reviewed by the Post, but their names were redacted because some of the cases are sealed. In one of the cases, a federal judge threw out the gun arrest of Tyquan Williams in 2011 after ruling that Officer Christopher Lopez had no reason for a traffic stop, court records show. Williams was a passenger in a rental car on March 14, 2011, when Lopez and his partner, Stephen Lopez, stopped the Hyundai in a high crime area of Morris Heights near the intersection of University and West Tremont Avenues for a thin black plastic frame around the edges of its rear license plate court records say prosecutors dropped the case after the judge ruled that the strop the stop was unconstitutional and christopher lopez and his partner landed on the adverse credibility list two other cops named were sabrina alicia and waikira velez whose statements in a june 2015 crash which killed one and left another brain dead were contradicted by surveillance video the da's records say that's why <laughs> we record the police surveillance video could have been our video could have been a cop watcher video you see so your camera could make the difference moving on detective Dim when detective winston mcdonald made the list for lying about being robbed at knife point in early 2016 and captain david dent landed on the list after he was caught fudging transient crime numbers hmm. andrew stangle a former prosecutor with the manhattan da's office cheered the release of the documents the nypd members could not be reached for comment on monday but andrew stangle told the post quote releasing the list is a victory for transparency for people who have been arrested in bronx county but it doesn't solve all the problems it's a good step forward but by no means is this list comprehensive the city's police union responded to the release by slamming the bronx da prosecution's record and attacking the anti-cop activists <laughs> who i'm gonna get back to that who requested the list to smear honest hard-working police officers Police um, Union, it's the PBA, PBA President Patrick Lynch said, quote, it's sad to see our district attorneys continuing to undermine their own work. Prosecutors are well aware that judges discount or discard police testimony for a variety of reasons, including the judge's own biases. Now, the Post has requested similar lists from four other DA offices in the city, but those requests have been denied. Uh, Stengel, who is suing the Manhattan DA's office to force the release of their list, claims his review shows at least one cop who allegedly lied to a grand jury is missing from the Bronx DA's tally. 
And then it goes on. There's some more stuff uh, that I'll let you guys look in here and go through. Uh, the link to this story will be in the description box below. I'm not, there's more to it if you want to go read it. But the one thing I wanted to get back to you on is the city's police union responded to the release by slamming the DA prosecution's record and attacking anti-cop activists. That's what they call cop watchers. That's what they call us. We're anti-cop activists. No, we're not anti-cop activists. We're people who are tired of cops, not all cops, just the ones, if the shoe fits, wear it. Let's put it that way. All right, Cinderella, Cinderfella. Um, if there's cop, the cops that are out there lying, fudging numbers, stereotyping, pulling passengers out of vehicles on a traffic stop for expired registration and then searching the whole vehicle and demanding they ID or they're going to jail, that kind of thing. That's what we're against. We're not anti-cop. We're anti-bad behavior, anti-unethical, anti-policy violation, anti-civil rights violation. That's what we're anti. If the cop is doing his job, he's following policy, he's uh, not violating civil rights or other people's rights, hey, do your job. More power to you. You're keeping the city safe to a certain degree. Whatever. But... The cops that are out there using their badge to, to just do live whatever and say, you know, I don't like that guy. So I'm just I'm just going to fuck him over. And hey, I got a badge. I was writing the report. Those cops need to be pulled off the street. That's what we're anti. So I wanted to bring that out. And then it says honest, hardworking police officers. Yeah, these cops are really honest and hardworking, fudging numbers and lying in court. <sighs> Guys, always record the police. Don't let them get away with this stuff. Keep on, keep on, keep on. It looks like the New York Post is out there trying to pull these lists and, and expose these guys and put them on the street. That's what our videos do. <clears throat> they put bad cops on blast. And good cops. Hey, if you're out there doing the right thing and you end up in one of our videos, people will go, you did a good job. You're very professional. There have been a lot of professional cops that I've seen in videos, but the ones who aren't. The ones who are breaking law, violating civil rights, lying on police reports. You guys are going to end up in our videos and you're going to be put on blast. You <laughs> better believe it. So just keep breaking the law. Just keep violating policy and just keep violating people's civil rights. You're going to end up in one of our videos and you're going to be put on blast. We're not going away. You could do whatever you want. You can arrest these people. In fact, uh, Prince Vegeta just got arrested. Stupid. The cop sitting there with his door open said something. Prince Vegeta steps off the curb and leans over to say something to him. And they go, oh, pedestrian in the street. You're under arrest. What? Talk about retaliation. See, they're trying to shut us down. They want us to turn our cameras off and go, all right, fine, cops. We're done. No, no, we're not going away. We're not going away we're going to be here for the next 25 years recording what you guys do on the street believe it so this is community leo watch watching leos across the nation and all communities and i'm letting you know what's going on in your community with leos particularly the bronx new york on this tuesday well it's my monday have a great tuesday guys more editorials coming this week